Back here on BTN Live, I'm Mike Hall. I'm glad to be joined now from Evanston by Dean Lowry, one of the studs on that Northwestern team that's now ranked. Dean, 21 in the initial playoff rankings. How did the team react to that news? Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, we're not too worried about rankings right now, but uh, it's nice to be recognized. And I think also some of the teams we've beaten so far, like Stanford and and, and Duke are also up there in the, in the rankings too. So uh, I think it just shows that we've, we've played a tough schedule so far, but also that um, you know we're still on the hunt to play in, the, in a very good bowl game. And I think it's very encouraging. What your team focus on this off week? Um, I would say just getting back to fundamentals. You know, I think our, our bye week was huge for recovery and just getting our legs back. But um, also just um, getting back to fundamentals and sort of who we are and, and how we play. And that's just with uh, a physicality that I think uh, is needed in the Big Ten. So um, it's going to be a great challenge this Saturday against Penn State. And I think we have to be very physical uh, to beat them. You came into Northwestern as a two-star prospect. Now as you're about to end your career, you're getting serious look from NFL scouts. What's changed the most about you in that time span? Um, you know, I would say both physically and mentally. I think just uh, understanding of the game mentally and just uh, you know film study and just progressively getting better each year. And then physically, just the weight room, you know, taking advantage of Northwestern's strength program, the eating right, sleeping right, all the small things I think add up to really um, making sure that you're physically there uh, to compete in the Big Ten. So uh, just a combination of things. I think that uh, it just shows that Northwestern knows how to develop their players. Sleeping right? How are you sleeping wrong? No, I mean, just, it's tough in college with exams and the classes, stuff like that. So uh, it takes effort to make sure you get in those 8 to 10 hours a night. So I just think it's, it's really important. We talk a lot about nutrition and sleeping right. So I think that's just uh, one of the things that we really emphasize is just making sure we're recovering the right way and just uh, preparing our bodies for the next workout. I was going to make fun of you for 10 hours a night of sleep, and then I realized, oh, yeah, you're in college. <laughs> that's, that's probably the norm. Yeah. <laughs> uh, open question for you here. Who's the most interesting person on your team? Um, <laughs> that could be uh, a lot of guys. Um, maybe Anthony Walker. Uh, he's, a, he's a big jokester in the locker room. Uh, or Connor Mahoney. They're, they're two guys who are very charismatic guys, the fun guys to be around. So uh, it's definitely always a fun locker room. A lot of really good dancers on our team and just a lot of different characters. <laughs> so uh, that's the fun part of being a part of a, a very dynamic uh, football team. Uh, you said uh, good dancers. Who's the best? Oh, uh, our freshman, Jordan Thompson's a really good dancer. He's uh, our D tackle right now, and he's, he's a really good dancer. And uh, if you watch our segments uh, at Northwestern.com, we always have, like, different, like, dances each week where guys are um, just dancing different uh, type music and stuff like that. So, um, you know, him along with guys like Miles Schuler, Austin Anderson, uh, they're definitely always uh, fun guys to be around and, and good dancers. Yeah, because I was going to say, post-game locker room, you know, when you're having your celebration, who do you look at the most? Well, actually, that's obviously Coach Brown uh, after the Stanford <laughs> yeah, game, I don't know if you watched, but uh, Coach Brown's uh, dance after the Stanford game went viral, so that was pretty fun to see. And it's always a fun time, especially after a win in the locker room and uh, just celebrating the win and usually having some fun dances. I don't know if you knew this. You guys are technically still alive in the West. Um, yeah, I think we're aware of that. You know, obviously we lost to Iowa, but um, you know, we're focused on the last four games of the year. Uh, we have a big game this weekend against Penn State and also uh, beyond that. But um, we're not too worried about, um, you know, beyond this week right now. We just know that if we take care of this week and, you know, we'll be one step better. So uh, we have a four-step plan to finish this year, and it starts at Penn State Saturday. Yeah, you, you'd need Iowa to lose three of their final four games. But still, you are technically alive. And that, like you said, all starts this weekend against Penn State. What's the most challenging part about facing the Nittany Lions going to be? Uh, I think their backfield, you know, guys with, uh, with their quarterback and their running back are both very talented guys. So that's going to be a great challenge facing those guys. And I think uh, there's also a sense of familiarity with them. We played them last year, but I think this year they're a lot better. Um, so it'll be a great challenge for us, and I think we're up to it. What would it be like to get a nice solid sack on such a highly touted prospect like Christian Hackenberg? Uh, it'd be nice. I think he's somebody who, you know, he makes all the throws. He's very big back there. So, uh, you know, he's, he's a special player. And I think that uh, it's our job as defensive linemen to help our uh, defensive backs back there by getting pressure on him. So um, that's, that's my goal. And that's the, the rest of the defensive line's goal is to help affect him. If you get a sack, will you celebrate? I mean, will there be some shout-out? Can I get something that I know you're thinking um, of me if you do that? <laughs> 
I don't know if I will, but the <laughs> creator of Game of Thrones is coming to the game Saturday, and my buddy Afadi Adenibo is the, the sack master, and he always does that little floor, uh, sword flip whenever he does he gets a sack. So I'm sure if he gets a sack, he'll do that for uh, the Game of Thrones creator that will be at our game Saturday. I love it. Very cool. Dean Lowry, thanks so much for the time, man. Good luck on Saturday. All right. Thanks, Mike. No problem.